103.7 WXCY. We are here in Nashville thanks to B&B &B Seafood in Elkton. They are the home of the fantastic crab meat cheesesteak, Kidmore. Can you imagine <laughs> something like that? That sounds pretty incredible. Big old fresh hoagie bun filled with crab meat and cheese and all that sort of good stuff together. It's the CMA Music Fest. I wish I had brought a couple of them with me, but we're sitting here with Kip Moore and we got barbecue. Hey, Kip. Uh, I'm, I'm, it's good to be here, man. I had a blast hanging out with, with, with you guys last time, man, so it's good to see you. It's good to see you, too, and thanks for doing that. I mean, we were just talking a minute ago about how those smaller, kind of intimate performances where you can tell a story yeah. and sing your song, it's like the best of both worlds, you know, because you yeah. can hear the behind-the-scenes part, too. Yeah, yeah you know, I, I, I hope to one day do an entire tour that way, um, just to play theaters and just tell stories, and you know that's what I, that's what I, that's what I hope to get to do. I have, I have enough material one day to build a. I have enough material now, but as far as material people know, actually yeah. know, as a different kind of thing. Uh, hey, if you're not there, you've got to be as close as somebody can get. I mean, going back through Hey Pretty Girl and you know something about a truck and beer money and yeah. the new one I'm to blame. I mean, you've got quite the catalog you're building up, sir. You know, I'm trying, man. I'm trying to get there. Well, okay, this is not your first rodeo at CMA Music Fest or Fanfare. What are some of the things, some of the tips that you went, oh boy, okay, next year i got to do it this way. Over the years, what have you learned not to do, the mistakes not to make during family? Um, you, you, can't, uh, you can't book too many shows, to be honest. Um, you end up getting... Because the whole thing is about the experience of getting to, to, to meet fans and um, to hang out and actually spend time with them. And it's like last night when I got done playing, and I'm kind of all this, always this way after shows. Um, I'll really give my time, and I'll, I'll hang out, and I'll take pictures, and I'll sign, and I'll talk with fans, and have conversations. And you know, early on, it was like, yeah, we were attacking every show we could, and you're just bouncing around, and you're not really even getting the chance to interact, and then sure. you, you run yourself ragged in two or three days. But um, you know, so now well, I think we've got like two or three shows planned for the whole week, and then um, you know, when I get done with shows, I can actually hang out with them. I took pictures for hours last night, so you know, it's just kind of the thing that what it's for. I mean, it's so unique that <clears throat> we are in an industry where people will come to one central place. I mean, you're out, and, and you have been for years. You go out, you know, two, three hundred days a year to their hometown yeah. and see them. Yeah. Now everybody's kind of coming here to everyone's yeah. adopted hometown, and you're hanging out, having fun, and telling stories. Yeah, and this city has just exploded like crazy, and I think everybody ends up wanting to move here after they come here because they think it's just a... This place is a party, you know, twenty four seven. Right. You know, so uh, it is a cool place, man. It's a good town. So I think that people just enjoy coming here and experiencing the town itself. What is the best place to get food, like off the beaten path in Nashville? Where is the place that when you're here, wow. you're like, we are going to hit this um, place tonight? Kai, there's so many. Um, there's Edley's on Twelfth, which is great, great barbecue. Um, you know, most people will stay like around Broadway and stuff to eat, but um, uh, man, the, the Copper Kettle. If you want mm. like some really killer southern cooking, the copper kettle is is amazing. And then you got Loveless Cafe that's way off in the cut. That might be the best southern cooking you'll ever taste. Really? Yeah. Um, huh. So yeah, I mean there, there's there's a, there's definitely a few hidden gems um, around, but that people don't really know about. Let's talk about the tour. Let's do. It. First of all, there's 400 people on this tour. <laughs> it's like the largest tour in country. It, it reminds it me like the old days when it'd be like Hank Williams and this and this yeah. and this and there's like 17 buses in a row. Yeah. But you guys are going out and you're having just an absolute blast this yeah, summer yeah. and it looks like a huge party. It is, man. Um, you know, it's Maddie and Tay and Kenny Smith and myself and Dirks and um, Dirks is uh, Dirks is truly a special human being, man. He he um, he he's. He's so kind and thoughtful, and uh, you know I hope that I can. Um, and, and you see it in this camp. The camps always represent, and when I say the camp, it's the the people that run the tour, the, you know, the tour managers and the 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 production managers and the people that tear the tour. But now, it always reflects who the leader is and who the artist is, and um, you, you get a sense quickly just of how kind the whole camp is, and they take care of you and they're looking out for you, and that's that's who Dirk Bentley is. So, you know, it, it's. Um, He's well deserved the, the name of the nicest dude in the country music because he's a he's a good soul man. He's my kind of people and I'm I'm thankful to be out and learning from him and um, he, he's been great.